Hello everyone, I'm Ron Berger and this is the Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology. This is the Special Report section, where I take a topic or person or situation that is pertinent to world events and do an in-depth astrological analysis. This will be a special predictive report on what's happening in the chart of Donald Trump and how that figures in for his relationship with the Republican Party and potential comeback in 2024. As the Donald tries to sort out just what he wants to do in his post-presidency, he surely misses the federal apparatus he had at his disposal while he was in office. So the question is, what mechanism can he create to put himself back up on the front page again? Is the world moving on now and leaving the Donald in the dust? Will Trump find a new direction? Note that, in his chart, Rahu, significator of transformation, is now transiting in Trump's 10th house, the house of public actions, career, reputation, and renown. A U.S. election is, maybe more than anything, a popularity contest. Some voters do vote based on issues and policies, but just as many vote based on identity politics. In other words, do I identify with this person? Venus is the planet of popularity. In Trump's natal chart, Venus occupies his 12th house. That's the house of the unknown, including unknown people. In other words, the twelfth house is the masses. Venus is the ruler of his tenth house, the house of public deeds and status. Thus, his chart shows he has karma for popularity with the masses. Now we see that Pluto, the planet of total destruction and rebirth, is currently transiting exactly opposite Trump's natal Venus. Pluto moves only a couple of degrees each year, and then retrogrades back over those degrees for half the year, so it will be staying within a couple degrees of it directly opposite his natal Venus all through 2021 and 2022. When Pluto interacts with a natal planet, it can destroy the significations of that planet. But then afterwards, Pluto has the potential to bring rebirth. Trump is currently in the Saturn sub-period of his Jupiter major period. Saturn is the bitter enemy of a Leo rising chart and, in fact, rules the sixth house of enemies as well as the seventh house of the direct opponent. Saturn resides in Trump's twelfth house of loss. Saturn is closely conjunct Venus in the natal chart. And so, Saturn caused him to lose enough popularity last year to lose the election. Venus is also the planet of advice and counsel, and therefore lawyers. Just last week we heard that Michael Cohen... Trump's longtime personal lawyer and conciliar has, according to reports, been making his eighth appearance before the Manhattan District Attorney regarding the investigations into Trump and company's questionable financial operations. Note that it's Trump's tax returns recently released by the courts and now in the hands of the Manhattan DA that has given new impetus to the investigation. In the Vedic astrology chart, the eighth house is taxes and the fifth house, amongst its meanings, signifies displeasure of the government. Both are activated by his current Jupiter major period. So, obviously the Donald is in some hot water. But, things start to change for Mr. Trump when he begins his Mercury sub-period this summer, starting July 2021. His natal Mercury is in its own sign Gemini. This is what makes him a communicator. 
Mercury is the ruler of the second house and the eleventh house in a Leo rising chart. The second house is personal finances. The eleventh house is gains. So, Mercury is fully a financial planet for Leo rising. Of course, money has always been a big motivator for Trump. Famously, he didn't give up his personal real estate empire while in office. There are plenty of examples of how he used his position to steer business to his hotels and resorts. As the putative figurehead of the Republican Party, he has created his own super PAC, the Save America PAC, which is already raking in the cash from his horde of devotees. One thing that Donald has on his side is the rabid loyalty of his followers, who constitute the largest block of Republican voters. Trump, the consummate con man, will continue to siphon money from his fans, money that might otherwise go into the pockets of the Republican national and local re-election committees. Now, here's an interesting astrological tidbit. If we overlay Trump's chart with the chart of the USA, we see quite a number of his planets interacting with the USA chart. Trump's natal Mercury at 14 degrees Gemini is exactly conjunct the USA natal Jupiter, and his natal Jupiter at 24 degrees Virgo is exactly conjunct the USA natal Saturn. His natal Venus at 2 degrees Cancer is in near exact conjunction with the USA natal Mercury. In other words, Trump's planet of communications is right on top of the USA planet's natal, natal planet of beliefs. Trump's planet of popularity, Venus, is on top of the USA Mercury planet of the media. Trump's Jupiter planet of his beliefs is right on the USA Saturn. One of the significations of Saturn in a nation's chart is that it is the planet of the workers, the common people. Also, see that Trump's ascendant degree is directly opposite the USA natal moon, and the moon is another indicator of the public. So, yeah, we have some evidence here that Trump is still going to be a force in U.S. politics, especially during his Jupiter major period and, at the same time, the USA Saturn sub-period. And it's obvious he's already making some moves. Trump seeks to be the kingmaker for the 2022 midterm elections by endorsing and supporting contenders who side with him. Likewise, he has made it plain that he will work to unseat anybody who doesn't agree with him or has crossed him in the past, such as the 17 GOP Congress critters who voted for his impeachment last January. Some of these contests will be gearing up shortly, taking the form of primary challenges to those Trump sees as disloyal to him. And then... After the 2022 midterms are over and done with, Trump will enter the K2 sub-period of his Jupiter major period in October 2023. This will take him to the end of September 2024, in other words, right up to the doorstep of the presidential election. But where is K2 in his natal chart? It is in near exact conjunction with his natal moon at the end of Scorpio. This is a really weird combination in his chart. It simultaneously gives him preternatural instincts and the potential for total chaos. Ketu is the dissolver in Vedic astrology. It can cause things to become completely unglued. Here we are talking about his natal moon, significator of perceptions and emotions, and the moon is the significator of the public. This is one of those combinations that gets characterized as psychic or psychotic. 
In Vedic astrology, Ketu is a mysterious significator. Predicting exactly what it will do is a challenge for the astrologer. It's your past karma, and the potential is for past karma to explode with a vengeance. As for the transits, note that Saturn, planet of obstruction, moves into Aquarius, Trump's seventh house of the direct opponent, in January 2023. And then there's transiting K2, which will be in his second house, his house of personal finances, where it will run over his natal Jupiter. Not a good combination. So, a rather troublesome planetary pattern arrives for Trump in 2023 and continues through election year 2024. Not sure if he outlasts it, especially when considering the sorts of issues that will arise during a K2 subperiod. Well, even six months is an eternity in American politics, so hard to say exactly what the electoral landscape will look like in 2024. But as far as Trump's own chart, looks like he'll be still a player for the near future, as an influencer. Depending on how that goes, in other words, if the candidates he backs win in 2022, the rest of the GOP will either line up behind him or toss him into the dustbin of history. But when he goes into his K2 subperiod, the outcome looks a lot more problematic. And then there's still the hurdles he's faced with right now. In other words, his legal problems. So, I'll be keeping tabs on the Donald and be doing updates as things develop. Next week, we'll take a look at what's coming up in April. And there are some major changes in the Zodiac on the way. So, until next week. <laughs>